Hey guys, what's going on? Andrew coming at you, and Swedish summer is something that you just have to experience. Uh, there's perfect weather here, the sun is out all the time, and I wanted to give you five things that I believe you must do if you're here visiting in the Swedish summer, if you live in Sweden. So let's get into it. Number one has to be to just take a drink in the sun. Now this can be a fika, so you can sit out and have a coffee, and this can be at a restaurant, this can be at someone's summer home, or it could just be taking a beer outside with some friends on a Friday or Saturday night, or having a beer outside with some friends on a Friday or Saturday night. That's how long I've been here in Sweden. I say take a beer because I hear so many Swedes say that because it directly translates like from Swedish, take a beer. Uh, but it's something that you need to do. And Swedes love sitting outside and eating outside. They'll do everything. Most of these things on my list is all going to be outside. Um, they love being outside so much that in the fall when it's starting to get cold, what they basically do is uh, they'll wear blankets, they'll have heaters on, and they'll just stay outside as long as possible. I feel like almost up until December they're outside. Number two has to be to go out in nature. It, here in Sweden they have something called Almanthrat, which basically means that uh, people can own land and property, but everybody is free to travel on property and swim in a lake or, or go camping as, or pick berries as long as you are not causing uh, any harm to the land, as long as you're cleaning up after yourself, you are free to do this. And um, Sweden has a ton of lakes because when the country was first formed, there was glaciers that went around it. So in the south or southern Sweden, it's very flat in certain areas, at least in my area of Sweden, and Linkshipping is very flat. But there are a ton of lakes to swim in, and that's why learning to swim is, so, is mandatory in Sweden to pass uh, gym or Idrot here in Sweden because there are so many lakes to go to. Um, it can be a little bit cold in the beginning of June, but I recommend going out and taking a swim. It doesn't cost you any money. It's a fun activity to do, and you will find a lot of Swedes outside laying out in the sun, swimming in the lakes, and they will be out there all the way up until the end of August. And what I love about this is, although Sweden can be an expensive country, a lot of the great things that you can do here if you're visiting, like camping and hiking, uh, it doesn't really cost a lot of money to just go outside and swim. It's pretty much free, or if you just buy some food, you can take it with you. Number three is to visit one of the, there are two amusement parks here in Sweden. There's one in Gothenburg, there's one in Stockholm, and I've heard lots of great things about them. I have yet to go. I'm actually planning on going this summer to the one in Stockholm. So I recommend getting a chance to go out and possibly visit one of the amusement parks if you're in Stockholm or if you're in Gothenburg and you're visiting for the first time. Number four is to stay outdoors as much as possible. And um, I recommend this because air conditioning is not really standard here in Sweden. And, and most days you don't even need air conditioner here, but on really, really hot days, you're gonna wanna be outside. That's probably the time you're gonna wanna go swimming. But for the most part, you don't want to be in, indoors. Uh, there's a lot of different activities and games you can play. A game I recommend you can try to play is Kung, which is a game that's popular to play during midsummer. But I do not recommend coming and visiting Sweden unless you have plans for midsummer. I always think every year there's probably a few people that fly to Stockholm right around midsummer that have done no research and like nobody's in Stockholm. You go to Stockholm over midsummer, it's like going to a ghost town, go, going through a ghost town because there's going to be nobody around uh, just simply because most people go out into the woods, into the forest around midsummer. Number five. First, our video is brought to you by Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for anyone who loves learning and wants to explore their creativity and learn new skills. Invest in yourself and your personal growth. I first learned of Skillshare through my Sambo, who got really into sketching and watercoloring. I watched her go from being an amateur to a pro in a very short amount of time. So Skillshare has been used in our household for over two years. Have a specific skill you're trying to learn? Skillshare is the perfect place to start, from photography and illustration to graphic design, freelancing, and more. You can find the classes that will match your goals and interests. I just finished Charles Carter's Adobe Premiere for Beginners, Editing, Efficiency, Plus Getting Started. What I love about this is although I've been using Adobe Premiere for a couple years, there were so many things I picked up that I'm just more efficient at. And it just makes the YouTube video editing process much smoother, much better. They're running a special offer through my channel. The first 1,000 people to use the link or my code will get a one month free trial of Skillshare. Thanks again to Skillshare for sponsoring my video. Number five has to be to pick berries. When I went back and I talked about almond rots, 
uh, that's a very popular thing to do here in Sweden is to go out with a group of friends and pick berries. Now, I recommend doing a little bit of research and talking to one of the locals so you just make sure you pick the right berries so that you don't get sick. But this is another fun thing that you can do when you're here. Um, as I said, the summers here in Sweden are perfect. The weather's always very, very nice. And a lot of times I go home and I visit my family over the summer. This, this year I'm staying here and doing a lot of things around here. Uh, trying to do some things that have been on my bucket list for a while of things that I want to get done here in Sweden. And so it's nice for me to be able to experience the Swedish summer as well and be outdoors as much as possible. So I wish everybody a great summer and I'll see you guys in the next video. Hello.